Our first problem is x minus 4 equals 11. We want to get x by itself on the left hand side. So the first thing we want to do is add 4. But whatever we do on the left hand side we also have to do to the right hand side to keep the equation balanced. So we'll add 4 to the other side as well. On the left hand side the, the minus 4 and the 4 will cancel so we're just left with x. And on the right hand side we'll add 11 plus 4 to get 15. So x equals 15 is our final answer. For the second problem we have x plus 3 equals minus 2. Again we want to get x by itself so we're going to subtract 3 from the left hand side and then we subtract 3 again from the right hand side to keep the equation balanced. On the left hand side the 3's will cancel so we'll just be left with x and on the right hand side we'll have minus 2 subtract 3 which leaves us with minus 5. So our answer is x equals minus 5. On the third problem we have 1 plus x equals 7. Again we want to get x by itself and so we'll subtract 1 from the left hand side but we have to do that to the right hand side as well. We'll cancel the 1's on the left hand side which just leaves us with x and on the right hand side we'll, we'll take 7 minus 1 which gives us 6. So x minus or x equals 6 is our finest, final answer. For the fourth problem we have 13 equals 7 plus x. We'll subtract 7 from the right hand side to get x by itself and then we have to subtract it from the left hand side. The 7's will cancel so that just leaves us x on the right hand side and then we have 13 minus 7 on the left hand side which gives us 6. For our final problem we'll have 2 plus x equals 0. Well we want to get x by itself on the left hand side so we'll subtract 2 from the left hand side then we have to subtract 2 also from the right hand side to keep the equation balanced. The, the 2 and the minus 2 will cancel on the left hand side just leaving us with x and on the right hand side we have 0 minus 2 and so we'll be left with negative 2. So our final answer is x equals negative 2.